G'day everyone and welcome to another video from Droids Unpacked. Today we thought we'd share an update on a project we've been working on ever since our early review of the Google Home. As many of you may know, Google have been slowly building out an ecosystem of hardware and software to create their very own vision of what a smart home of the future could look like. Here at Droids Unpacked, we've been doing much of the same, building our very own little Google-powered smart home. We hope you enjoy our first look into our very own Australian Google smart home. Ever since the introduction of the Google Chromecast, arguably Google's most successful hardware product ever, the tech world has been wondering when and if Google would seriously put their hat into the ring of connected smart home technology. As their first real entrant into smart home technology, the Google Chromecast was a revolutionary idea executed in the most simple way, allowing people to cast or mirror content onto their TV screens from thousands of cast-enabled apps as well as their own local media made the $49 HDMI stick an instant smash hit. While the first generation Chromecast may have lacked some features such as 5GHz Wi-Fi support and the option for a LAN connection, the ease with which it worked and the fact that some of the biggest names in the streaming media landscape, namely YouTube and Netflix, had cast support from the get-go gave Google a solid platform on which to build its smart home ambitions. Now Google addressed most of the shortcomings of the Chromecast with the introduction of the Chromecast Generation 2 and the Chromecast Audio. The second gen Chromecast brought support for 802.11ac Wi-Fi in both 2.4GHz and the much needed 5GHz frequencies. The Chromecast Audio however was the real surprise. Google had taken a step into the ring of connected audio technology and was issuing a direct challenge to the likes of companies such as Sonos and Harman Kardon. The cast audio essentially turns any speaker with an auxiliary port into a connected speaker. It negates the need to fight with a spotty Bluetooth connection on traditional Bluetooth speakers or to have your phone plugged in to a regular speaker. Google also introduced the Google Chromecast Ultra later on during the year in order to give more discerning buyers the ability to cast 4K HDR content as well as the option of an Ethernet connection. Now arguably Google's most important and most powerful entrant into the smart home market was the Google Home. With the introduction of the Google Pixel, Google showed us their vision for a contextually aware AI controlled assistant. They even took it a step further with the Google Home. Now while it may look very unassuming and some may even criticize it of looking bland, the Google Home packs a lot of surprising capabilities into its tiny air freshener shaped body. The Google Home is designed to blend in around your home but also be ready at a moment's notice to assist you with everything from simple tasks such as figuring out what your commute's going to look like tomorrow to more complex queries such as figuring out who Ray's parents are. Having two always listening far-field microphones, the Google Home allows you to yell commands at it from the comfort of your couch. The Home acts as a sort of hub for all of your Google Cast hardware and allows you to take control of any of them with simple voice commands. Casting a YouTube video to the family TV or playing music on your cast audio is as simple as telling the Google Home to do so. The Google Home also ties into the booming Internet of Things world. Now at launch, the Google Home has support for some of the biggest names in connected devices, such as Samsung SmartThings, Philips Hue, Nest, Honeywell, and If This Then That. Sadly, as always, we don't have access to a lot of these services in Australia. However, we are looking into procuring some of these systems to test out for all of you to see. Now, the most promising entry into Google's smart home ecosystem, which we haven't been able to get our hands on just yet, is the Google Wi-Fi. Alongside the Pixel and the Google Home, Google also revealed a Wi-Fi router system which relied on Nemo and Mesh technologies to try and solve the ever-present issue of spotty Wi-Fi reception. We'll be looking at adding a Google Wi-Fi to our smart home setup in the near future, so stay tuned for any future coverage we'll be releasing on that. All in all, Google are off to a promising start with the Google Home, Chromecast, and the Google Assistant. We hope you enjoyed our quick look into a developing smart home and what it can look like in the often overlooked Australian technology marketplace. Please like and share the video if you did, and if you'd like to follow along as we further add capability and improve our smart home, please subscribe to the channel to see all of our future coverage. I'm Shaquille Ali with Droids Unpacked, and we hope to see you in our next video.
How long have you had these droids? About three or four seasons. They're up for sale if you want them. Hey, I'm a droid, sir. I can't have a droid, Phil. Let me see your identification. You don't need to see his identification. No, Grandpa, I do need to see his identification. He's on the droids you're looking for. 